Building of the Erie Canal. The Erie Canal was an interesting subject because uh, the builder, he asked me what he could do. And, and I said, go build a canal or something. And so he had gone to go build a canal, and I had suggested some things which are inside my Facebook about how, like, he should find one. He asked what it was. I said, it's a ditch that's full of water that boats go through. Um, and, and he said he didn't know how, and I said, collect a team of people together to help you do it um, and find a place that needs a canal and then go and build one. And, um, and he said, what if no one needs a canal along a route? Um, and I said, well build a factory or get some people that could use it you know like farming and stuff i told him not to get in the way of the farming by the way though i said don't get don't pull the men off the farms to go and do the canal necessarily you know do the canal when when the men aren't b busy you know with the, with the farms and of course you know no rush of course you know just do what you can you know and that kind of thing and so he started to go go and do it <clears throat> and every time he would come up with a problem I would, uh, he would ask, well, uh, I have this problem and how should I do it? Like, like, I think he, he had a problem of pulling some stumps or something. That was a problem. And I suggested two wheels and then, you know, a chain and, and a third wheel with a rope, you know, leverage. And they did that. And apparently they worked really well. <clears throat> I was just, I was just a child. Um, anyway, and, and, I, and then he said, there's some elevation problems. And I said, well, you can build a lock, um, he asked what it was, and, and I said, well, basically, it's two rock or solid things with, uh, with a door between, you know, uh, uh, something that stops the water on one side. And then, you know, and then you have another door on the other side, and you close that one, and the water pressure keeps it closed, and then you open up the other one. And, you know, I figured, like, some water would get through so you could open up the door, of course, or have some sort of way of relieving, of lowering the water pressure, of lowering the water down. You know, basically, you know, basic idea. I mean, people can figure these things out. Originally, they were made out of wood because so the water would just kind of leak past, but it wouldn't leak past as fast as the water would fill up in the locks. Um, pretty simple concept, you know. I mean, most people can figure it out, and they did. Um, and there was also some other things, uh, a pivot, a triangle pivot, where you have a have a weight. You know, it's like an early crane, you know, like a rope. You have a, have a piece of wood going out one way, and then another piece of wood, rope between, and then a... Um, you know, and a weight, you know, and then you can pick up stuff, you know, and swing it around, basically. A pivot, you know, it's basically like a pivot thing, so you can move stones around, you know. Simple pivot. Um, they actually built one. I, I just described it to them, and then, you know, they basically did it. Um, and they actually built a really amazing one, actually, of, of, of what I described. It's been a lot of years. I was a young child back then, really young, um, and a lot more hands-on, you know. People would ask me questions of how to do this or that, and I would you know, basically give them some idea of how to do it, depending on what they had around them. I mean, of course, he obviously didn't have a dozer, so <laughs> and I was like, well, obviously you don't have any construction equipment, so okay, we'll have to work w w with what you got. So, um, you know, I worked I worked within his means, um, which was basically a labor force and basically inventing things so to make the labor easier. Uh, it's just a simple canal, so I think I suggested plowing for, for what's called and wetting the ground, you know, because he was working from a canal, you know, so water and stuff. I mean, basically, um, basics about how to do it, you know, using animals and stuff, I'm, pretty, I'm sure, probably. I mean, I, it's been <laughs> it's been 40 years since I remembered exactly what I told the guy. But, um, but basically, I worked with him, and at the end of it, though, he um, he did tell everyone that that it was a person named Lucifer that helped him, and that, um, you know, or a little Lucifer, a Lucifer person that, that helped him, and everyone ridiculed for him, him for it. They said, no, no, Lucifer didn't, didn't help you, um, you know, there's no such, such person as Lucifer, they said, and, um, and he was ridiculed for it, because he was, he was loyal, perfectly loyal. I mean, the low bridges, those were my fault as well. I suggested, you know, using low ridges, you know, to so you would so they wouldn't have to build like such big bridges, you know, four foot ab above, you know, the top of the dirt, you know, basically so, so like a six foot or a five foot boat can go underneath, you know, basically kind of like a wider boat, but you know, kind of general idea, you know, of course, you know, depend. I said I said depending, maybe as high as six feet at six six feet. So some bridges were actually taller, but but some some of them were lower, you know, in certain areas. 
I said depending on traffic, you know, and stuff. So because I didn't want them to, to to spend too much effort, you know, on this on this thing. So I figured it was just gonna be like a four foot wide or a six foot wide trench, you know, basically just enough to get one boat down or so, you know, just something to do, you know, um, pretty much. And it kind of blossomed into something a lot, 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 lot bigger over the years. But um, but basically, you know, um, it's basically you know, just a labor task, you know, someone someone to get money and be paid and to do something, you know, basically keep people busy. Um, you know, that's all it really was. And But at the end of it, though, like I say, he said how Lucifer had helped him. You know, I had helped him. I was a child. And um, and uh, and everyone ridiculed for him for it. And they scorned him for it because, you know, and he was perfectly loyal. He was really, really, really loyal. And everyone like hated him and like and practically like drove him into the poorhouse and like and just slandered him and ridiculed him for for being um for for admitting that 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 I had helped him invent all the different things that that he did you know like the locks I invented those and I invented all these things like and they said no it must have been somebody else it could have been lucifer lucifer you know blah 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 and um and they really really killed him for it and i was really upset at the end of it because i was like because you know i was a child and i was, and I was thinking i mean i know i helped him he knows he knew i i helped him but everyone else wanted to do this whole thing where i mean it was it was a long time ago it was like in the 1700s um but you know and i was helping him get the canal and you know he got money from the government you know to to pay to pay him and his workers and also to also I think he paid for a couple farms as well they set up some farms along the route to um, to allow more commerce you know to help out with with the, with the need for the canal and it became a very 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 popular thing you know with with a whole community springing up around this one canal because <laughs> probably mostly because they were building it but um, but it's a little community sprung up because of the canal project and um and and like i say at the end of it he was ridiculed like crazy for it even though i had chosen the narrower bridges and i mean the lower bridges and and i walked with him i basically talked him through the whole 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 project from start to finish practically every little problem he had i i you know he would he'd get on he'd get a hold of me or get a hold of my, one of my people and um and it would be handled you know i mean i would i would advise him and many inventions were were invented and done and then taught to other people. Um, and it became this great big thing. It was in the 1700s. Um, and then everyone scorned him for it because they didn't believe in me or who I was or what I was or anything. And they, um, and I felt betrayed. He felt betrayed by me um, because I couldn't help him more than just advising. And um, I think he actually died poor, broken, and ridiculed. It was actually really a sad end to, to to the guy who did the who did the Erie Canal, and there was really a really really sad end. I was really upset and mad and just really upset because I had helped him and you know and all the inventions were mine and he admitted it. He admitted that 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 that, that everything that that was done was basically done the way I had suggested, and that it was it was Lucifer, and um, and no one believed him. Or wanted to believe him, and it was really, really a, a really sad end to to a rather a rather good career, a rather good project. I mean, it was a it was an amazing project, and you look at it now, and it's absolutely amazing. And um, many, many people worked on it, and he worked on it too, and a whole community sprung up, whole town sprung up because of because of that project. And um, and he was perfectly loyal to me. But, um, and I was a child, and like I said, I was really, really upset. And so was he, at the whole the way he was treated. Uh, how everyone scorned him for it. You know, that, that a child could have invented all these things. And a child could have, you know, done this. Um, you know, because I told him I was a child, and I was, my name was Lucifer. And, um... And and that advised him through the whole project, inventing things. And he was perfectly loyal. Absolutely loyal. You know, he even I think he even posted in the newspaper even. You know, how about Lucifer. They'd run a story about me, I think. How I'd helped him. And um and it was one of the sad points in my life because because um 
because one of my good people, you know, was being scorned for this great project. Maybe it's because people had died on the project, you know, because of the malaria thing. But, you know, winter had sprung up, and, um, and the mosquitoes went away. I got lucky that time. <laughs> Luckily, it was close to winter time and when the malaria broke out. And I, and I was like, can I request winter? <laughs> Actually, it's kind of funny. I was like, I was like, can I request winter? <laughs> At the time, I was like, can I request winter for that point, for that point in time? And winter came early. <laughs> it's funny because I was like, can I request winter to come early? And winter came early for them. And, uh, but just enough, not just a slight, just a slight cold spell actually to, to just hit them, but not that cold. It was just like an early, whatever, a snow flurry, I think they said came through, whatever, and killed all the mosquitoes. And the malaria went away. And they were able, but they were, but they were able to, to continue digging the trench. It was kind of one of those funny, interesting things in my life when, and I actually requested winter to come early over there, or pass through actually. Anyway, but it did, and then, um, and then things continued, and, um, and it turned out to be a really good project. So, um, and at the end of it, like I said, he ran a story about me, and um, in the newspaper, and telling them, telling everyone who I was, what I was, and and everything, and that I was this great inventor. And that helped him with all these inventions. And people scorned him. He even got in an argument over with the... I don't know, is that the guy he might have... I think that was the guy that got in an argument with the editor. You know, there, there was lots of arguments about, about people because people would call him a liar or this or that, say that, that Lucifer couldn't have helped him. You know, some people said I was dead. Some people said I was a horrible person. Some people said I never existed. But, you know... I mean, I remember advising they're my inventions. I remember inventing it. So, and they were all done it the way I basically, the way I suggested. And so, um, you know, it's funny, even now today, I'm, people are still saying I don't exist. Even though there's a historic time reference for all of it. But, um, I helped a lot of people. I mean, I invented the word America. I should think I exist. Or unless this isn't America. So, I invented the word Russia. Unless Russia doesn't exist. I mean, it's more like I just... You know when they say Lucifer, a tree of life? What they're, I'm not a tree. I'm a person. I was an inventor. I could always invent things. I could always think of things. You ask me to do something, I'd tell you how to do it, pretty much. Or the best way to do it, best my knowledge. Which was always usually pretty damn, pretty darn good, really. I mean, inventing sails, inventing how to bend wood and water, um, inventing cannons, inventing mine carts. Not so good with the mine carts. <laughs> Some of my people did better at inventing mine carts than I did. Um, I kind of fell flat on my face with that, but inventing the wing, the engine, I mean, teaching people how to fly, even rockets, rocket engines. Although I'm not very good at that either. <coughs> Luckily, I, have a lot, I had a lot of good people working with me by then. So, <coughs> inventing how to... Um, inventing the steam shovel, steam engine, how the piston would work in and out with steam. Um, all those inventions. Uh, I wasn't so good at inventing the shovel valves. I did kind of, but, but once they got... They understood what I was going for, so... So they, they kind of got it once I was like, you know, blah, blah, and I just described it, and they're like, oh, okay. And then and then a couple people built it. You know, I invented the iron lung, um, you know, the bellows. I invented a lot of things. Yeah, it's funny. When I invent these things, everyone would be like, oh, wow, it's so amazing. I can't believe it. It works. Awesome. You know, and, and it would be the most amazing thing ever. Of course, then I'd invent something else, but I just kept inventing. But... um. It's funny, everyone would always admit my invention when I first invented it. I kind of ran out, ran out of inventions, I guess. Because I just about invented just about everything, pretty much. I just kept going. Um, I was just one of those inventor per kind of persons. Anyway, though, but the Erie Canal, really loyal guy, really cool guy, and he got scorned for it. And uh, he ran a page in the, in the paper and all kinds of things for me. 